Hello boys and girls, this is our Avid Magic and Tricks. On this tutorial we are gonna talk about how to create the stairs. Ok, now just go here to the architectural tab and on the circulation group we have a stair. Click here and now you can see how we can create stair. We have a free element for stair, we have a, a run, landing and the support. Here in the components we also have the shape of our stairs. We have this straight sh shape, we have this a full step spiral, we have this a center end spiral, we have the L shape winder that don't have the landing and we have a U shape winder that also don't have the landing. Here in the, on the left on the properties for that uh, stair you can see on the constraints we have the base level which uh, level is a start level for, uh, for our stairs and the top level which level is a end level for our stairs. You can see here this is a desired stair height because our height of the level 1 to level 2 now is a 4 meter. We have here a structural uh, to add some rebar and on the dimensions we have uh, the calculate for our stairs. We have uh, here a default calculation for our stairs and they say we have uh, the 23 raises the razor height is gonna be a uh, 70 point, point uh, 39 centimeter and the actual trade depth is gonna be 27.5 centimeters. I just select this and go to the 30 centimeter and we have this thread razor start number to set which number is gonna be the first on our first thread. Now just go here to the run, click them and we select this straight shape and you can see here more editing for that stairs. You can see here the location line that is a line we want to draw. If uh, On the default is run and the center if I click here you can see we can draw the, the stairs from the left side of the run, the center, right or the left and right side of the exterior support. Now if I go here to the center and you can see here actual run width, we set that to maybe 1.3 meter. And we want this automatic landing, that means the Revit is automatic create a landing for us. If we want to create only the straight uh, stairs, just click here and drag uh, this uh, with mouse. You can see how the Revit is calculate the number of the risers for us. We just go to the end and you can see here we have the 23 risers created. And now you can see in the 3D we have these straight stairs. If we go here to the finish edit mode, the uh, Revit automatically creates for us uh, the railing for that stairs also. Ok, what if we want U shape with landing for that stairs? Just click here go to the edit stair and click here and just pick back run go maybe here and go to the run we you can see here we have a 20 runs now and just click maybe here 
you can see now we are drawing from the center line just go here and go to the run right and now we can draw this line on the right side of the run you can see already Revit is uh, create landing for us just go to the end and just click okay but if I want this line is end to this line I just click to this run go here to the move or shortcut MV click on this and just press and hold the shift key and go to this line and just click now you can see how the Revit is automatically uh, stretch this landing for us and now go here to the finish go to the 3d and you can see our stairs okay now i go to the north elevation i go and this stair maybe just move here and what we see here you can see this is not good for us why is that if i click to the stair and go to the edit stairs now I can separately set this run and this landing just click to this run and you can see here on the construction that run begin with razor you can see here if I unchecked that now they start from the level of the death landing but we want to begin with razor and here you can see also end with razor okay maybe we we want that but if we want to end it's gonna be with trade just uncheck this and just press this dot and drag here release the mouse and you can see the Revit is stretch that run if we want to add some more threads above the level 2 just click on this dot hold the mouse and just go here and release the mouse okay go back that is what we want just click here and say okay now go to 3d and you can see our stairs okay what if i have a multiply levels and i want to more copy these stairs to these levels just click to the stair go to the copy unchecked this constraint and check this multiply and go from here to here then uncheck the constraint go here uncheck the constraint go here and so on in this case if i go here and change my stairs something like this go to finish mode you can see i changed only this stair because now the all of these stairs is a uh, unique stairs but if I go back to here, select this stair, and now you can see here a multi story stairs. Click the select levels, and you can see here the connect level or disconnect levels. Now we want to connect or to add some more levels. Just click here and drag to uh, that level you want if we want only these two level just go here now you can see that is selected and just go here to the finish you can see now the Revit is copy our stairs and put them in the group if I go here and want to edit that stair go with the mouse then go press the tab button and 
just select the stairs. Now go to the edit stairs. Now you can see we can edit our original stairs. If I now go here and extend this run and just go here to finish edit mode, you can see the Revit is editing all the stairs. Just go back here, click OK and click on that stairs and now we can edit more levels for that. Just go here to the connect or disconnect levels, click to the connect and select all the levels and click the OK. If we don't want this, just click here, go to disconnect level and just select this and click OK and now we disconnected that level. Go to the 3D and you can see our stairs from level 1 to level 8. Ok, that's all for this tutorial. In next video we are gonna talk about uh, how we can edit this razor and threads. If you like this video, please subscribe. It means a lot to me to keep making videos like this. Go to Facebook and Instagram page, follow that and see you next time.